children because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Welcome to In the Master's Hands with Elder Anyat Mashi who has been giving you a little sneak preview of today's broadcast. I'm going to turn it over to you right now brother so you can open us in prayer and go forward. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Father, we are in your hands and we believe that you are also present. And we, we thanksgiving to you and request to you. It is our humble request that this time the word of God that you put in my heart, hallelujah, when we share with our sisters, with our brothers, with our children, everywhere there's a broadcasting it's going. So please, oh Lord, this message may be very, very blessed in the name of Jesus and be fruitful hundred times in every life. So we think, we realize in our life, why are we in danger today? Why we are suffering today? And uh, uh, we come in your presence and uh, be saved in the name of Jesus. So I also pray for my sister also uh, and all the broadcasting management so that all the program, all the program and my dear sister Stephanie uh, ministry touch uh, the master uh, ministry be blessed in the name of Jesus in every way, in every way, uh, mean in the name of Jesus, uh, mean. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, so now I may start. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First of all, greeting to all my uh, brothers, all my sisters, wherever they are listening. And uh, I am Elder Nathanasi from uh, Pakistan. And it is a great blessing also for me that uh, I am here. To convey the word of Lord. So it is my request when we are listening, when we are talking, when we are realizing. So therefore it is a need of the hour so that we keep the word of Lord in our heart and uh, act upon practically as for the message of the God. So my topic, as I have given, uh, is that uh, when God made the man, the circumstances were very good. Because God created the everything, but made the man with his own hands. Hallelujah. So therefore, it was the love of Lord. But where is the man of today? Why is he a suffered in, into problems, into crisis, into diseases? And he is crying with pain. All is this because 
he has astray from the right path. Mm -hmm. And now it is need of the hour that he come back so that he may be blessed in the name of Jesus. So, so my dear, today we will share this passage and we will be blessed. First of all, I, I, uh, we shall read Genesis 1st and verse 26. Here we see God's love. And we see then God said, Let us make man in our image. My dear, here we can understand that when God created all the things, all the animals, uh, heaven, earth, and everything that is found in this world, then we see in verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image. And we have to understand, it is need to understand the image of God. What is the image of God? Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. So my dear, God is purified in every way. There is no sin. So therefore, if the man is created on the resemblance of the God, with the image of God, then why the circumstance is different. So we have to know that while man is made uh, in the God image, as it is written, according to our likeness, according to our likeness, Sometimes we, we do not understand that God, who is God? So therefore, it is need that first of all, we should know that who is God? My dear, while we are hearing, listening, here the word is used the man in our image. Our, when we say our, so then we can say that there is not a single, but here is some uh, other, uh, that, that, that uh, it, it is a plural uh, thing. So therefore we can see that Jesus Christ is before the creation of the Lord, and he was a Lord, as we see in John chapter 1. In the beginning, there was a word, and the word was with him, and everything uh, uh, presents in, in the God. So therefore, my dear, this is a, a separate message. <coughs> but, sorry, but now, today, we shall see that if the man is created by the image of God, then why? Why there is so many differences? Okay. So many differences. So we have to see why it is so. Why it is so that we can see that the, that the man that was, that was uh, made by God and he was lucky because he was the first person who was made upon this earth. Hmm? And when we see that God came to him and talked to him and walked to him, and there was joy everywhere. But uh, why, where is joy now? We can see there is no joy in the families, in the countries. In the world, there are so many problems. Every person is worried, what will happen tomorrow? Oh, hallelujah. So my dear, only we, we have to find out its solution. 
and today we shall see that what is its solution so because till we will not come to the lord then until we will not accept the jesus christ we will not believe in the jesus christ there will be no peace no satisfaction in our lives so we shall see genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 and 16 here it is written then the lord god took the man and put him in the garden of eden to tend and keep it and the lord god commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden you may freely eat but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die surely die so it is the it is the reason of the separation of the uh, uh, we can see here that he was commanded while we if we while uh, consider for a while in our family sometime if our father we are children and if our father commands us uh, and uh, uh, to do something and we and we did not uh, we do not obey then we we can see that father is annoyed he is, he got gets angry and then sometime we are punished also so here we can see that heavenly father when made the man uh, according to his image he loved it, 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 it was his great love but he was commanded in the as we see in verse 16 he was kept in very good place and there was garden and where there was every blessing every thing to eat and there was joy and happiness everywhere no uh, comedy no uh, and, and mighty there and but we can see here he was commanded that you may eat every thing but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil while we get some knowledge so we understand ourselves that we are the priest we we are the superior than others and uh, nobody compare to us and there is some proud in in our mind so uh, so my dear then is a fault because we we have to be the under the obedience of the lord so that if we have knowledge this knowledge is given to uh, given to the lord if we are priest if we are elder if we are evangelist if we are any uh, status of the world we have to understand that it is a responsibility it is a reward that is given to us and we have to use that reward under the command of the higher authority that is our lord and we have to be obedient so that the 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 task that is given to us may be filled in the name of jesus and the uh, and we should praise to god that it is the the blessing from the god so here we can see that they were ordered they were commanded that if you shall eat surely you will die so it was very strict order from the lord and uh, we can see that they did not care for it and they disobeyed and then they were they were shunned out from the presence of the lord as we see in chapter 3 
chapter 3, here we can read, now the uh, serpent was more cunning than uh, any beast of the uh, field which the Lord God has made. And he said to the woman, as God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it. Eat not to eat, even nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. This is that thing that today serpent, the devil also puts in our mind. While we want to do some good thing, but the devil says, oh, there is not good. You, you shall be blessed. You will be wealthy. You will be uh, more uh, uh, status man. So, but we have to keep in our mind the command of God, what is said to us, that how we have to follow. If we are the follower of Jesus Christ, believers of Jesus Christ, and we, we keep in our mind that we are the Son of Lord, that we have to be obedient, just like the sincere, sincere, and to obediency of the Lord. You, so, so my dear, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, uh, your eyes will open, and you will be like God, knowledge good and evil. Oh, what a mishappening here. The devil puts in the put in their mind that you will become just like a God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear father is father. Sons are son. Daughters are daughter. Every status is given to us. So we are given the inheritance. But if we if we follow as our Lord uh, commands to us, and we see here that so many problems create here. So uh, there, there is very, very young, uh, uh, till 15 verse, we can read it in, uh, in our home. But my dear, there was the mishappening that uh, serpent put in their mind. And uh, the time came when they did so, they did disobeyed the Lord, and they were shunned out from the presence of the Lord. My dear, to shunned out from the presence of the Lord is the cause of death, because the wages of sin is death. So therefore, it is the cause of our the uh, separation from the Lord. And then we can see while he was put away uh, chapter 3 and verse 20, second and 24. Then the Lord said, Behold, the man has become like one of us to know good and evil, and now, lest he put out his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to, to till the ground from which he was taken. Amen. So my dear brothers, my sisters, this is the mishappening that was happened in the Eden, uh, in the cause of the disobedience. But today, it is the need. 
it is the need of the hour according we have to understand the great plan of our lord which is not for me only not for you only but every person who who is in this world so that this difference and this uh, an eye of the uh, uh, pre presence of the lord may be removed in the name of jesus and we shall see uh, john chapter 3 john chapter 3 and verse 16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. As we saw, that the wages of sin is death, and death was him. In case of the disobedience of the first man so therefore we can see that the that the solution is this that we have to come before the presence of lord because jesus christ is he came in this world for me for you and for all over the world as it is written because he uh, god gave his begotten son Whoever believes in Him should not perish. So, my dear, it is the need. Whoever believes, nobody only for Pakistan, no, but no need only for the state, no, no need only for no matter uh, for just one country, all over the world. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, my dear. Whoever believes in Him. any cause belong to any person any religion uh, somebody is linked but who ever believes in him should not perish but have the everlasting life i uh, mean so this is this is a wonderful thing that the man who was put into uh, in suffering in the death and he uh, he was tortured in so many times where uh, the long period from the beginning to from the jesus it is a long period but it was a great great plan of lord that the man who was created in the image of god while he was in danger while he was put into problem while he was uh, suffered in so many Things so therefore, oh hallelujah! What a wonderful God's plan that God made the plan and He sent His begotten Son, just like His own God Himself own. Uh, uh, as in John chapter one, He He own came in this world to save us from the uh, punishment. so that we may have everlasting life because god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved hallelujah my dear sister my dear brother what is you uh, think if we are saved if we are confessed if we are repented if we are reborn then we can say that we are saved and there is satisfaction in our heart but just now if we are away if we we are leading our lives in sin so therefore we should understand that the wages of sin is death and we are going we are running toward that death and death is a uh, death is a death is they will be sent into the hell and hell is a very dangerous place oh 
there will be mourning, there will be crying forever and ever. So my dear, the peace and calm is only in the presence of Lord. So no matter if we are in, just now we are in sin. If we are leading our life, if, if our my son is, if my daughter is, if my any child is just in the sin, he, so they, this is the time. This is the time, therefore, we, we should confess, we should repent our sin and reborn so that as we can see, uh, Act, Act, uh, Act chapter 3, yeah, we shall go ahead, Act chapter 3, hallelujah. As the word of God says to us today, so therefore we have to keep in our mind so that the God uh, bless us and uh, we should be uh, acceptable in the presence of Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we can see here chapter 3 and uh, verse uh, 19. Chapter 3 and verse 19 says, Yes, repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. I mean, so my dear, no matter. No matter, because there was the father of this world. As it is said that you are the son of devil, because you follow the devil. So, but, but my dear, we are not uh, the sons of devil, but hallelujah, if we are repented, we are confessed, we are reborn, and we are followers, following the Jesus Christ, then we can satisfaction that we are Jesus' sons and daughters. So therefore, verse, as we have read in verse 19, for those who are just now indulging in sins, no matter what is the reason of sin, sin every sin, that is small, every sin that is made will be removed in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus is the cause of our removing of our our evil ways. So therefore it is need repent, please, my dear, and con convert it so that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the circumstances will be changed. I mean, because we can see here, what a boldness, what a boldness, with Peter saying, hallelujah, <coughs> Peter saying in chapter 4, uh, verse 12, uh, verse 12 says, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Only one way is there. Only one way. And he is the name of Jesus Christ. That is the superior name from all the names under the, uh, as we can see, uh, under the uh, earth, under the heaven. So my dear, my brothers, my sisters, this is the time that we have to come before the Jesus Christ so that we may save. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. My dear, today, man, uh, today, uh, the man of today, we can see that so many problems are here. If we look around our us, if we go into the hospital, so many people are crying with pain, with diseases, with cancer, with hepatitis, so many other diseases. But we can see 
that Jesus says, Oh, rise in the name of the and me and, and, and walk. He heals in every kind of disease. He gives he gives the blind person the eyes and uh, and he has the supernatural power to arise from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear, this is the great plan of the God and um, uh, nobody that are. So many years, so many previous lives we have spent in the uh, in the bribe, in, in the evil ways, but this is the time. If we want to be saved, if we want that the uh, uh, good days will become in our life, so so that our sin be uh, removed, so this is the time so that we uh, come in the presence of the Lord. So, so my dear, our Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, our Jesus, uh, is a God of our Savior, and He is here and everywhere. Where when we will, uh, when we will call to Him, He will answer Him. But we have to be faithful. We have to believe, as uh, uh, Acts chapter nine. Acts chapter nine. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 9 and verse we shall see 33. 33 verse says, There he found a certain man named uh, Anias who had been uh, bedridden eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him in Yas, Jesus the Christ heals you. Hallelujah. Arise and make your bed. Make your bed. Then he rose immediately. No late. No wait. Immediately. He arose when Jesus Christ uh, said, I heal you. Today, if you are in disease, if you are lying in bed, there is very problem in your mind, very problem in your home, very problem if there is, but we have to be, we have to keep Jesus with us and then, when, my dear, when Jesus will be with us, Jesus' power will be with us and with the help of Holy Spirit, we shall command, we shall say to some, uh, some person, and it will be happen as it is sin. What will you ask? It will be happen to you. Eh, me. Eh, me. So, my dear, eh, as we have read, so there, therefore we have to believe. So, all who dwelt in uh, Lida and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. At uh, Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated uh, Dor Dorcas. This woman was full of good work and uh, charitable deeds, which he, she said. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since uh, Lida was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. We see, then Peter rose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room, and all the windows stood by him uh, weeping. Widows stood by him weeping, showing the... Uh, and garments which uh, workers had made. Important security message. So, my dear, we can see. Important security Important. message. Please call the yeah. number provided as soon as possible. You will be guided for the room. Yes, sister. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, my dear, this is the great or superficial power. 
So therefore, we have to be faithful before Jesus Christ, so so that uh, our, our also sins may be removed in the name of Jesus, because our Jesus is, is our Savior, and our salvation is no any person from uh, any any other, but our salvation is only from the Jesus Christ. My dear, Jesus is, Jesus is the, if Jesus is with us, he gives us the, hallelujah, water of life, bread of life. He fred, uh, frees us from the sin. He heals from our sickness. Oh, hallelujah. He is only single the solution of our every problem, every uh, uh, every uh, crisis, but we have to be faithful. We have to be faithful as John says, because we have to follow as, uh, the word of Lord says. John uh, chapter 3 and verse 27. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. What a wonderful thing. If our relation is good with our Lord, with Jesus Christ, then everything is okay. We can't receive anything until it has been given to him from heaven. You yourself bear me witness. Then I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. It is John uh, uh, saying. So therefore, uh, we, we, we can see he who has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom wife. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. Eh, mean. So, my dear, if we are in, the, in this position, that we are given the power of miracle, if we pray on the sickness and he is healed, if we pray some for somebody and he his problem are removed. If we pray for somebody and uh, uh, his sickness is removed, his problem is removed, but we have not to be told. We are nothing at all. As, as John is saying, he must increase and I must decrease. <laughs> so, my dear brother, we have to keep the word of Lord, the love of God, which is for us because we were astray, we were put into the death, but the master of life and death is the Jesus Christ because he crushed under his feet. Oh, where is your sting? Oh, devil, where is your sting? Your, your sting is crushed under the feet of Jesus Christ on the cross. I mean, so, my dear brother, my dear sister, God bless you in every way, but we have to be faithful in our before our Jesus Christ. So, we must decrease, but Jesus increased in our life. I mean, and uh, we can see more. Hallelujah. The promise of God is with us, and we will see the promise of God. But it, uh, before this, and uh, John chapter 4, for, for the encouragement of uh, my listeners, so when we are listening the word of God, we may encourage in every way. Chapter 4, verse 7. Verse 7 says, A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city of, to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you 
being a Jew. Ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman, but Jews, uh, for Jews have no dealing with Samaritan. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is who says to you, Give me drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Amen. Amen. My dear, this is the water of life. And life is in its Jesus. And here we can see the, the woman belongs to Samaritan. Samaritan, so many problems. While we see 